We are very sorry, ma, but during transit, because of how cold the plane was, your dog had hypothermia and died. There's nothing we can do about it. It is part of the things that you pay for and you're liable for. Hello humans of the internet, this is Enobasi here again and I am back with another video. It is an educative informative video. If you are here, you are one of the people who searched because this is something you are looking for. I hope you have a good time watching this. Please do subscribe, leave a comment and like this video and you know, help me grow because I am thinking of doing this YouTube thing full time. So, Mbok Yang Amin, Amin Dofan Fu. So a few days ago, I traveled from Lagos to Calabar. This time I didn't go alone, I traveled with my dog Titan. I came home because my mom is turning, or by the time you're watching this, my mom turned 65. If you're thinking about traveling with a dog within Nigeria, this video is for you. These are the things you need to know, you know the documents you need to have what tools and what materials you need and what you need to get cleared at the airport and for whatever airline it is that you're using so keep watching and those questions will be answered for you before i traveled i reached out to one of my friends hi joseph thank you very much for the amount of help you gave me because the airline I called them multiple times. I sent them emails and they did not respond to me. They have still not responded to me as at the time of making this video. And it's been over a month of trying to inquire. I even tweeted at them on Twitter. The very first thing I was told I needed was health certification and he needed to be up to date in his vaccines, his deworming and medical check. So one beautiful afternoon, I bundled myself Titan got into an Uber and headed to his vet in Ikeja. After a routine check, because he is now seven months, or he was seven months at that time, we then, you know, went ahead and did his rabies vaccination. He was dewormed. So at my hospital, they charged a total of 10,000 Naira. He was issued a health certificate, which indicated that he has been up to date in his vaccinations, he had been dewormed, they put in the serial number of the vaccine that he used, and they put in their contacts just in case someone from the airline wanted to confirm all of this data was authentic and not forged. I also had to buy an aviation carrier. And trust me when I say that was the very bane of my existence. This was something that really stressed me out. From having to go online, I went online talking to so many vendors on gg.ng and that's when i knew sometimes eh, it is not that business is slow it is just that you are putting sand inside your own garage and spoiling your business by yourself that is why business is not moving for you how could i have reached out to a vendor and the guy is telling me that i'm talking too much i should not bargain i should not ask too many questions i should just pick whichever one i want like am i still doing business but this person was just expecting me to just say, ah, oh yeah, oh, you called 50,000 naira. No wahala, I will give you 50,000 naira like that and you bring it over. And like, it doesn't happen. If I wanted to do that, I would have gone to a standard shop where you know prices are fixed and there's no possibility of discount. It just upsets me so much. I ended up having to go and buy an aviation carrier for Titan from my vet. So, two things checked, health certificates, and an aviation carrier complete. The very third thing you need to do is ensure that your dog is not fed at least six to eight hours before your flight. This is to prevent your dog from soiling himself while in flight and the possibility of that spilling out and soiling the plane. But guess what? The most ridiculous thing happened. He ended up still soiling the carrier. And I was just wondering like, where did this poo come from? Because after he ate, I took him out, he pulled. The next morning, around 4 a.m., that was when I was up packing and trying to finalize my packing stuff. Yes, I'm one of those people who doesn't pack until the day they travel. Anyway, so trying to get everything done and cleared and packing, Titan pulled again. 
before I put him into the carrier, he pulled. And so you think, oh, between the last time he ate and now he has pulled a duration of four times, that should be enough. He should have completely evacuated his bowels. I mean, there's nothing else that could possibly be there. The day of travel, after I had packed my luggage and, you know, called a ride, I headed to the airport. On arrival, one thing to notice is that people feel the need to constantly try to rip off other people. When I got to the airport, the moment some people saw I had a dog, they started shouting, no, 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 ma, don't go inside, though, that they are not going to allow dogs to fly, that they fly them out in cargo plane, and that he can give me a good price. And just to humor, you know, humor the guy and humor myself, I said, oh, yeah, oh. Thank you for the information. Yeah, how much if you give me? Like, how much if you send my dog? I won't go Calabar. And I said, oh, because of me and because I look like a calm and gentle woman, he will charge me 45000 I said, ah, okay, no problem that I did come. Make I go inside. Make I go beg the airline first. If they know Greg, I go come out. Come. I was not like, ah, no, I should not enter inside. You know, trying to convince me. And if I was somebody who had not done research prior, I probably would have fallen prey for that. I flew out with Ibom Air. And... Got to the ticketing counter, and the person there, you know, was initially not very certain or not very sure as to what information he needed from me. But, you know, I had to exude a certain amount of confidence to avoid being taken for a fool or taken for idiot. I told him I have my health certificate, I have my dog's, you know, hospital medical records here as well to show that he has done all his vaccines and everything is up to date. Aviation carrier, aviation standard, what else does he need? He should let me know. So I was like, oh, okay, you've probably done this a number of times. And Mr. had to say, yes, I've obviously done this a number of times. Whereas I was, that was not the case, yo. That was not the case. This was my first time and I was very skeptical. So went through checking like normal, weighed my luggage, did everything. But then I had assumed that because I did not have so much luggage, they would also weigh the carrier with Titan in it and put it as part of my weight allowance. But they didn't. So they weighed my dog separately and charged me for him outside of my ticket. Titan, 12.5 kg, the cage was another whatever, ended up all being around 15 kg. And I do not know how the calculations were because I had to pay 9,500 naira. And they took him through as well as the luggage. And I had to go in and meet airline customs for him to actually be loaded into the plane. Don't expect your dog to be given to you to fly like a regular passenger. They will load your dog in cargo. The way they load luggage and load, that is where they will put your dog. And I was worried because what was on my head was, ah, I know how chilly and how cold the plane gets. That's how I'll now come back to Calabar or I'll land in Calabar and they'll be telling me stories like, oh, we are very sorry. I'll just hear something like, I'll be, I heard something like, we are very sorry, ma. But during transit, because of how cold the plane was, your dog had hypothermia and died. There's nothing we can do about it. It is part of the things that you pay for and you're liable for. There's nothing like insurance covering it. So all you can do is to take your, dog, your dog's corpse and go and bury him. But we are very sorry. If there's anything we can do outside of and ah, hey, my goodness, <laughs> I don't want to hear stories like that. Or the worst scenario that I had imagined in my head was when I get there, and they'll say, ah, "We are very sorry." As we loaded your dog, somebody, somebody, somebody went to go and claim your dog in Calabar and took your dog before you came down from the plane. <laughs> Where will we start the fight from? Where will we start the apology from? Because me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to what? I'm going to box somebody. So I was just, you know, mentally preparing for worst case scenario. That's one of the mantras I have started living by. It's not very good, though, but it's saving me a lot of heartache. Hope for the best. 
but prepare for the worst because you never know. It can be either spectrum. If it falls in the middle, you say, ah, about to saw someone and go your way. But if it goes worse, you say, ah, at least that was what I was referred for. If it goes exceptionally well, you'll be like, ah, I sure had it in mind that there was a possibility for this to happen. So that's that's what I have just been doing of recent and it has saved me a whole lot of heartache. Anyhow, I shall went in you know, and cleared the dog. I had to take him out of the car for them to roll it through the scanning thing. And they're like, okay, I can put him back in. So I put him back in. As a good mother that I am. So time to board flights. Normal, normal, you check your luggage and you confirm your luggage for it to be loaded onto the plane. Once that was done, I saw Titan. I saw he was still alive, still kicking, moving around. Very beautiful, very smooth flights. Lasted about 55 minutes. Landed in Calabar, Margaret Apple International Airport. And after we arrived, I went to claim luggage and to claim Titan. So yeah, that's the story of how I flew with my American Eskimo puppy who is eight months old from Lagos, Nigeria to Calabar, Nigeria and how the airline didn't give me any hassles and how they nearly tried to scam me for 45,000. Oh, and before that, I just remembered something. I had also reached out to one, you know, dog shipper, the people who sell dogs and they say they can ship anywhere to inquire as to how much it would cost if I wanted to hire them to, you know, do the transportation just in case he wasn't allowed on the airline. And they quoted me 65,000 Naira. And I would still have to provide my aviation carrier, health certification, food, and bring him to wherever it was. And I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. That money, I'll use it and board him somewhere. I'll give it to one of my friends to please take care of him for the duration of my trip. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope you have success, you know, traveling with your dogs and they do not scam you, which seems to be very rampant nowadays. And basically, stay informed so that you don't fall victim for all of this. Please like, please leave a comment, tell me your experience if you've traveled with a dog before, what questions or concerns you have about flying with your dog. Anything really, leave a comment, let me know. And if you've watched to this end, this is the word I want you to put in the comment section. I'm begging you. Let me see the people who actually watch completely. Unlike some people who used to watch videos for 10 seconds and leave it alone because it's not interesting or it's because it's not Mortal Kombat. So if you watch to the end, please leave Grand Malt in the comment section below. And that's because I'm currently drinking a can of Grand Malt. So yeah, leave Grand Malt in the comment section and let me know. Bye. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Hi. 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 Mm -hmm.